Fuck. Hey guys, it's Blumfield. You're tuning into local band Smoke Out. Alright, what's up stoners? Welcome to another local band Smoke Out. I'm your host, is how the most BG. Today we're doing an EP review. Emo, New Jersey band, Wolves Mouth, Good Grief EP review. Uh <clears throat> For fans of My Chemical Romance and Coheating Camera, if you guys have never seen us do one of these before, basically I have all of my notes already written down. Five tracks. We're going to recite all the notes from the tracks, then play about a minute, about a minute and a half to two minutes of each track with the goal of you guys uh, to go support them, follow them, check out the entire EP for yourself, and possibly even purchase it. That'd be awesome. At the very end, I do a pros and cons, as well as my favorite songs. Then we do a score. So without further ado, I dated an edgelord, and all I got was this... Keurig, title of track one. I've written down um, <clears throat> the opening track. It has very grungy, melodic vibes. Drastic changes throughout. Expect a pop to 80s vibe, but then all of a sudden becomes an emo meets flyleaf vibe. Uh, and then goes from pop punk, but at any time that can change. So be ready. That's literally what I have written down. Wolf's Mouth, Good Grief EP review. This is track one. Spark it up, you got it. I'm gonna skip around a little bit to show you some different parts that I, I like. Yeah, ZP is cool, man. It's it's kind of all over the place uh, in a really cool way. Some of the melodies and stuff definitely have like a Cody feel. Track one, I dated an edgelord. So uh, track two is called Hex Party. Hex Party I have written down, pop punk vibes meet OG punk. At times, I wish the vocals were a tad louder, but then at times it sounds just right. It's so when I wrote that down, I mean, like in certain parts of the songs, it feels like the vocals could be louder, but then in a different part of the song, it is as loud as I'd want it. Like it's mixed differently in different verses or hooks. I'm not really sure how to explain that, but uh, um, <clears throat> some coheed vibes for sure. Great emotion and anger. Cool vibe change near the end. Seems like an awesome live show. So tell me if you get those vibes from Hex Party. Have that cool, upbeaty punk feel. Skip through a little bit.
She has good like emotion in her vocals too. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> I love all the emotion and like almost like anger at the end right there. That's the vibe change I was referring to. Track three, Violent Affection. Starts with an emo paramore kind of vibe. Um, and then the mix gets rough and furious by the hook. And I put an exclamation point, so it's very, very furious. Uh, this one actually could be the catchiest song yet, too. Um, one of my favorites on it. What else did I write right here? Drastic cool punk change near the end, but makes that makes you want to get up and move. Let's go. Yeah! Violent affection, wolf's mouth. We're jamming the good grief EP in its entirety. Okay. Okay. Hello, that's cool. It just gives me a vibe that like their live show would have lots of crowd participation, uh, and anger and, and fun, like kind of all wrapped together. Violent Affection, track three. That takes us to track four. Sorry for the blood. Cheers. Fun vibes so far out, so far throughout this entire EP. This one though is a really cool change of pace compared to the others. Uh, it has great riffs throughout. The slight tempo change are cool to give the track freedom to go where it wants to go. And it's a very cool outro section with really, really different kind of style melody layers at the end right there. Sorry for the blood. Cheers. But the problem is I don't know how so quiet now to narrow down. Method that's deserving and thinking is unnerving. I think the mind is burning. So pen to paper, I make a choice. My Chemical Romance vibes for sure right there. Why don't you guys hear the the outro melody part too? Sorry for the blood. Cheers. Track four, which takes us to the final track, Post Mortem. Uh, different vibes right away. Very progressive, building until the hook drops, which has a massive hook on it. I almost felt that the song was like a little bit too short, though. It ended too soon, in my opinion, because I really like this one. Um, and then it has a huge chorus and hook. 
Right after this, we'll go ahead and do the pros and cons, and I'll tell you guys my favorite songs on the entire EP. We're jamming Wolf's Mouth, the Good Grief EP review. Progressively getting bigger and bigger. I love that huge choir gang vocal. Wolf's Mouth with Good Grief EP review. That, that song, though, is called Postmortem. Here are my pros for the whole, the whole EP. Uh, there is crazy good emotion and melodies throughout. Um, I love all the punk aspects and all the tempo changes and, and different variety of genres you get like from track to track to track. Um, the mix by the end of the EP actually, to me, sounds better than in the beginning of of uh, the complete EP, and sometimes it's just um, just somebody, the producer, just you know, messing with stuff. And I don't know. Sometimes has more time to spend on other tracks than others. I'm not really sure, but you can hear that throughout the whole EP, some stuff is just layered and and raised volume wise or lowered different than others. Um, cons. Some vocals could have been louder and clearer, and I think that primarily refers to that one part in the, the track one, which I'd have to go back and find exactly the right spot that I'm referring to, but that didn't really bother me that much. Um, some, of the, some of the mix is odd at times, but gets better by the end, which I also put by the pros. But the, the cons are not, there wasn't, there wasn't really that many cons to, to say, like I have to put something, because that's just what I do on these segments. But um, let's go to my favorite songs. My three favorites were Hex Party, Violent Affection, and my absolute favorite was Postmortem, the last one. I love songs that have huge choruses and gang vocals and choir sounds and stuff like that. And it's just a really cool way to end the EP on that note, I thought. So for those reasons, I am going 8.6 out of 10 as my score for Wolf's Mouth. Wolf's Mouth, excuse me. The Good Grief EP. Uh, they're, out, they're out of New Jersey. I'm not sure what part of New Jersey, but they're out of New Jersey. And I think that the for fans are pretty close. You can get, uh, you definitely get my chem vibes on some of the temp changes and uh, instrumentation of what they're playing. Uh, a lot of vocal harmonies and melodies that are in there. Uh, you get those coheed vibes. And then you kind of have to throw in, you don't have to, but I threw in Flyleaf as my third one. And it doesn't sound like Flyleaf. It's almost like a more punk version. But uh, just to give people an example of, oh, you, you know, the, you might get a little bit of this in there. That's why I put that. So sometimes bands don't like what I put in the for fans of, but it's just another thing that I do. Overall, 8.6 out of 10. I had a lot of fun with this one. I apologize about the delay uh, for getting this one done, but um, it was well, I think it's well worth the wait. And you guys should definitely go and uh, support them. Check out their their music, their EP, Wolf's Mouth. Just search them. They're, they're everywhere. They're on everything. Good Grief's the name of the EP. Please, please, please go support them. They very, very much deserve it. Uh, if you're watching, you'd like me to do this for your band. Uh, these take me quite a long time to do, approximately five or six hours. So there is a, there's a little bit of a cost. Localbandsmokeout.com. Click the Submit Your Music tab. It'll all be explained right there. If you'd like me to do an EP or album review for you, the album reviews take me uh, like a whole day. Uh, I don't know why. I'm just slow and I, I take these very seriously. So, um, but I'd love to do one. Uh, if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button and or the bell. You may not see this on YouTube though because there's so much music going on. This may get copyrighted, but it'll for sure be on Facebook. Um, but yeah, uh, 
We have over 3,000 EP album interviews or episodes done. You can find them all on our YouTube page. And uh, four times a week, Monday through Thursday, I'm on Twitch, 4.20 p.m. Pacific time. We always have guest prizes, trivia, and punishment. Please join us if you ever can. It's a hell of a lot of fun, and we give away a lot of free stuff over there. If you ever want to be involved in our tournament and champions, you must go onto the Twitch channel and hang out with us. And it, then uh, it's good exposure for bands, man. Any genre. Other than that, I am your host, the most BG, saying cheers. Keep blazing. Smoke weed Peace. every day.